What is up, everyone? This video is actually going to be a little bit different. Kind of the same. I guess you could say I kind of stole that, stole that from Seth's bike hacks. But today's video, I'm going to be uh, doing kind of like a vlog style video. Like showing you all what I do, like my routine and uh, like maintenance the trails and stuff like that. So let's go and hop into the video. So right now I'm inside of a garage. I'm just about to go ride my bike. This is what I usually do every single morning. So I already rode it today because this is kind of like a uh, reenacting of what I do every single day because I had to figure out a video idea for today. But uh, I come in here and I just kind of stare at it. And uh, today I actually had a problem. Uh, my wheel was kind of off centered and it was rubbing on my rub on my mud guard because my tire is so wide it's a 2.4 and a 2.2 in the rear so uh, my tire was rubbing on the mud guard so i did just that took me a little while but i finally got it and then i went outside and uh i was i filmed that endo video uh if y'all haven't checked that out go check it out i'll leave a link inside of the description below uh it's an endo video endo short uh i did a bunny hop an endo and two wheelie and uh, I was trying to pop an endo, but uh, my brakes weren't working. I was pulling them all the way, and they were just kind of screech. So I brought it back up to the shop, and uh, I was like, "What? what is that? So I was going to switch out the brake pads, uh, switch the back to the rear because I don't use my back as much. But I ended up, uh, I figured, hey, I've been touching my rotors a little bit and my brake pads some. How about I clean them up with some alcohol? So I went inside, got some alcohol cleaned them up and uh they work just fine they look just as good as they did before i'll show you what was on my brake rotors and kids this is why you don't touch your brake rotors i learned <laughs> the hard way that all that was on my brake rotors and i don't think i even got it all off so don't touch your brake rotors because that'll work. that's what's going to come off if you use alcohol and a paper towel so we got that all fixed then i went up to the church and I filmed that uh, wheelie, endo, bunny hop video, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. And I uh, came back up here. And since I'm homeschooled, uh, I had to do my school. And uh, I actually finished about 20-ish minutes ago. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for today's video. I was going to do a trail building video, like how to build trails for beginners. Uh, but that didn't end out very well. I couldn't do that. So, uh, I just decided to make this video of a day in the life as a mountain biker in 2022. So, uh, now after I come out here in the morning and I make one YouTube short and I'll do my school, I'll probably come outside, figure out what I'm going to do for the longer video, which, uh, didn't end up making that trailboarding video, as I said. So, uh, now we're here making this video and, uh, I'm probably going to go maintenance some, some of the trails because a lot of them are very, very mucky and like I have a bunch of tire ruts and all the jumps are kind of eroding, especially this, the biggest one that I have actually. I jumped it this morning and uh, it has like a dip to where my back tire lands. And uh, I'm afraid that if, uh, if my back tire lands first, then I'm gonna go over the bars or something like that. So uh, I say we go ahead and fix all the trails and so I just came out here and I'm noticing some ruts, like right here. This is not smooth, if y'all can't see, up onto the first jump. Uh, by the way, I need y'all to comment below some names for all these jumps because I wanna make some trail signs for y'all and I wanna give y'all some shout outs. So comment below some trail signs and uh, I can notice some ruts and stuff like that. So we're gonna fix all of these. And over here is the worst part. As I was saying earlier, oh no <laughs> you see this yeah there's a big old dip probably can't tell on camera here let me get the camera y'all see that there's a big old like dip right there on the landing of the i don't know what to call it that's why i need names for them so please please comment below names uh and uh kind of it's all has a bunch of leaves on it we're gonna blow all these leaves out and uh there's a lot of stuff over here that needs to be maintenance. 
that's why guys you need to maintenance your trails i haven't really been doing that because i've been making videos for you guys but today's video is actually on making trails so i guess i can do that right here it's falling apart literally like the whole entire jump uh and over here you can't really see but right here the dirt has just kind of washed away very very bad uh definitely definitely need to fix that same thing right right here you see that this is a little jump other than that well i'll say that <laughs> over here we got we gotta blow all those leaves a lot a lot of work to do and uh we got some more let me just show you that so coming over here this is that kind of corner that's the beginning of a trail right over here uh, i've been kind of skidding these are my trails so i can skid uh it's my responsibility but uh guys please do not skid on public trails because it makes for workers a lot it makes for job a lot harder so just respect public trails and stuff like that but if it's your trails you can do whatever you want we're gonna make this jump a little bit bigger and uh th this rock garden's doing very very well uh, i'm glad i put all these rocks here because there's a lot of water that runs through here and uh the rocks kind of just soak it all up and just kind of moist it out and stuff like that but over here this is where uh we got we got a lot of erosion over here, just to say. Uh, these jumps all need maintenance, every single one of them. And this this one, it jumps into a hole. This is probably gonna be the biggest project of today because we have to make a drainage ditch. And uh, I'm actually going to make a video because Noah Hall was asking for one. Uh, he wants me to jump into the puddle, so that's going to be quite a fun video. Uh, I'm taking that sarcastically. <laughs> but uh, we're going to jump into that, and I'll show you all that later. And this jump is kind of eroding. All the trails are just kind of falling apart. That's why I made this video, not only because it needed to be done, but because, uh, yeah, this berm is horrible. Look at this berm. I mean been riding on it in the mud horrible and uh yes i do have to maintenance all these as i said earlier because they are my trails <laughs> and i'm not just gonna let them erode away i mean i'll let them erode it a little bit but i'm not that stupid so coming up over here this is our climbing trail we just kind of climb up we're gonna blow all these leaves out or rake them either one i like to rake because it gets me more exercise. And uh, that way leads to the jump line, another detour. This climbing trail used to be flooded, but uh, it kind of moistened up and it's kind of, you know. Uh, but this used to be our main twisted oak. You, We had a berm right there. Let me zoom in for y'all. We had a berm right there on that corner. And it would swing you all the way we had a jump right here. It was really, really small, by the way. When you go all the way down there. So, so everyone, that last clip, I accidentally stopped it. But uh, that's enough talking. Uh, I'll have my tripod, and we're going to film some stuff for y'all. We're going to maintenance all these trails. It's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of work. I don't even know. We don't have to make a part two for this video. But uh, let's go ahead and get to work.
really saw it because I'm carrying my tripod every five minutes to a different location. Alrighty everyone, we have made it to the mud hole. Uh, I'm just about to go get on some shorts and flip flops and we're gonna send this thing. This is for you, Noah Hall, you ass. Anyways guys, if y'all want, if y'all want me to do something, just please comment below. I'll do anything for you guys. I don't give a crap. All right, we're ready. Well guys, technically it counted as a jump because I got both my tires lifted off the ground. But uh, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna do it again just because I want to have a good video for you guys and uh, I don't want it to be crappy. So yeah, that's how good of a YouTuber I am. I think before I post. So let's go ahead and send this thing again. I'm gonna get a different camera angle for you guys. By the way, my bike is so wet. I've had a couple of people asking uh, about why I don't wash my bike every like three to five rides. It's because I ride my bike like, <sighs> Every single, like legit, I don't have any video games. I live outside. So every single second, well not second, every single minute that I have the opportunity to ride, I'm going to ride my bike. It's just my way of being outdoors and uh, seeing the beautiful creation that God has created. And uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to move my tripod. I'm gonna leave my watch here next to my gloves because I do not want to get my watch wet because that would be a bad day. The GoPro is doing good. Hello, everyone. You can say hi to yourself. Uh, uh, that GoPro is uh, almost broke at one time, but it's, it's like unstoppable. GoPros are unstoppable. So uh, I say we put the tripod right here and uh, I'm gonna set you down. Hope y'all like this angle. And uh, let's go ahead and send this thing again. Woo! Howdy everyone, I'm just about to get the thumbnail for today's video. Uh, I'm guessing uh, this looks like a pretty good thumbnail. Uh, comment below, please let me know if y'all like just blank thumbnails or if y'all like thumbnails with like uh, text on them or if y'all just like uh, both. Please let me know in the comments below. But uh, that is going to be our thumbnail. Let me just snap it. Here, there we go. And uh, in the next video, I'm guessing that we're going to fix up that berm. I know today's video is, I'm guessing it's going to be a pretty long one. Uh, and we're gonna have a lot of work in the next episode. Uh, we, we're gonna have to fix up all these jumps because they are just destroyed because of erosion from all this water. Uh, I hate rain. Uh, I, was, I was saying the opposite about uh, two months ago because we we're in a drought and uh, it was hard to dig all these trails, but eventually we got it all done and uh, it looked good for a little while until all this rain came through and this is the result. All this, all this erosion, absolute crap. But uh, I've been talking way too long. I'm sorry about that. And uh, today we have to get all this water out because what's that sound? Because uh, if we don't, then it's just gonna fill up more and it's gonna erode all this, and it's just gonna be more work on our hand. So I say we go ahead and do that.
I'm actually not going to go ahead of this video just quite yet. I was looking at my bike and I was like, uh, is that good? I mean, should I clean it up? And uh, I decided uh, I'm going to clean off my bike, just kind of rinse it off, scrub it with that brush, no soap, nothing. Because uh, uh, I've heard that you do need to clean your bike every now and then, and it is kind of dirty. So I say we go ahead and clean this off. <laughs> and clean I say we go ahead and head inside and we edit this video for you. Thank you.